So look, I'm just keeping it real. Do you believe me now? Cause it's real out here. Do you believe me now? Do you believe me now? All cash, paid for. We, we don't owe nobody, nothing, nothing. You understand me? I'm done talking about it. It's time for y'all to really see this shit really happen. Oh yeah, this one finna go out and get money right now. Of course, got a Benz on there. This one chilling. You know my baby chilling. Baby girl chilling. Mama chilling. This this daddy. This mama. What's up, mama? How you doing, mama? I love you, mama. I love you, mama. I love you, mama. There go daddy right there. There go daddy right there. Oh yeah. Daddy a five cops. He a little bigger than he a little bigger than mama, but uh, it is what it is. Stay tuned. Car Holland. Season two. Episode. Get it. What's up, everybody, man? We back with another episode of that Bundle Show. And you already know it. We get it in like we supposed to. My man here, Lacey. Lacey, Lacey, newest member of the Kahala Gang Gang shit. He on the team, my nigga. Yeah, he finna go get that money. It's the newest truck right there. You know what I'm saying? Gonna have them stacks hauling logos on there. You see what I'm saying? Got them a... Uh, what that is? That's a freight liner. What, what, what year is it? 2008? Yeah, freight liner. The business class M2. Yeah. And a single axle. Nice little piece of machinery. No depth, though. He ain't got no depth now. You might have 100 down. You might be 80. For sure. Don't be big. But they ain't big like man. They big. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, pull them a five pack, man. Get them thousands, man. Y'all making thousands a day or what, man? We making thousands around here. But yeah, that's my man Lacey right there. Go on, tell him, man, a little bit about yourself, Lacey. Yo, um, it's to trucking, right? So I've been trucking for about 13, 13 years, something like that. Yeah, been cool, been good to me. Just coming over here, you know? There's more money over here. There's more money. There's more money fucking with my man. <laughs> more money, more money, baby. Yeah, so, you know, just just give us a roundabout. Like, what the other carriers be be raping motherfuckers for? Like, what's on the percentage level? I ain't got hit. The motherfucker give me 78%. Shit like that. 78, 80 at the best. You know what I'm saying? So what's the best you done received, like, before coming over to Stacks Island? Uh, 80. 80. 80 the best I ever seen. 80 the best you ever seen. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that 10 percent gone. If they, if, they, if they tell you what the what the low pay, right? They they, they don't never keep it real. See, uh, see, keeping it real is he got access to the low board himself. He get to call them people, negotiate and talk to them people, and on behalf of Stacks Hall and you know what I'm saying, and make his own rate and you know establish his own relationship within the community, the car hauling community. I want y'all to understand that. Mevo got that same opportunity too. He running under the low boards that, you know what I mean? He he jumped on the team too. He uh he gonna do the uh he gonna do it out there in Georgia where he from, but all he doing is uh using my wife to dispatch him. So this another way when the cup overflows, you can pay your wife. You know what I'm saying? You can pay anybody. You know what I'm saying? But how long you you said you've been driving how long? Of 13, 14 13 years. 14 years. And in that 13, 14 years, how many accidents have you had on the road in your truck? Oh, no, never. You ain't never had no accidents on the road. How many miles you think you done put on the uh, 
<laughs> put on a uh, truck. Million. What you think? Million? You yeah. over a million? This is a million mile right here. Yeah, million. million mile under my authority. Mevo not under my authority. Mevo got his own authority. He's just a part of the car holler gang gang. You know what I'm saying? And my man, he under the authority. So he's a contractor inside of my company. He doesn't work for me. He works with me. That's that's the difference. They don't tell you that in uh, prime school or wherever y'all go. RST, LSV, whatever the fuck y'all be at. You know what I'm saying? Be out here lying to people talking about leasing trucks. Leasing trucks, if you want to be a millionaire credit-wise, that's the only way you're going to be able to touch my pockets because I'm trying to be a liquid millionaire. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to... I want all my investments to be mine and solely mine. I deal with the responsibility. If you ain't ready to play with the big boys, go, you know, sit in the playground with the, with the kids. Get off the court. That's what I'm saying. Get off the court. Don't be sitting around here acting like you're smart. Yeah, you know, leasing is smart. I'm going to keep it real with you. Leasing is smart, especially if you got a full maintenance lease. Just because you ain't got to deal with the headache or the maintenance of the truck. The shit I worry about, the shit I be scratching my head and got to get out here and fix on my own. Yeah, that shit. You ain't got to worry about that. That trailer shit, you ain't got to worry about that shit. Them niggas going to take care of that for you. So, you know, I'm a big boy, though. I'm going to get out here and figure that shit out. I'm going to understand that shit. See, in my first year, it's a learning year. Even while I was able to accomplish making some good money, but I learned a lot. I learned more than, you know than I knew when I first jumped in the game, especially after renewing these plates, learning how these taxes go. It's a lot of things that I avoided too, because I'm weighing in at 50,000. I avoided the 2290. Mm. I'm trying to tell you, man, I got the keys, man. All you gotta do is come jump on the team, man. Get the blueprint, man. We ain't worried about tanking. How the company gonna go down? How the company gonna go down if we own everything? Tell me, like, how we, how, how do we fall if the, if we own everything? And we got money to go buy more shit? We're finna buy this seven car over here, man. We all y'all don't even understand. But just keep watching. This this season's gonna be real good. It's gonna be a lot of things coming. And just don't listen to the lies, man. I'm keeping it 100. I'm giving you this game for free. And in return, I don't need YouTube to pay me. Because you know what? YouTube is is actually allowing me to pay myself. That's the purpose of being self-made. You see what I'm saying? So y'all just sit back, you know, food for thought that, sip on that, you know what I mean? And we're gonna get back to the real world. Yeah, so yeah, Coming it's just the beginning. The it's just the beginning, and just remember, I mean, where we at? We like, yeah, we like eight, nine months in the game. I'm just showing you. I'm showing you the ways you can supplement things and make things work differently. We finna, this is finna be really big. So just stay tuned. Rookie car hauling at his finest. <laughs> Rookie car hauling. He finna put that thing up in there. Remember, follow your last. Yeah, we're gonna get money, man. Finally find the nigga I need. Over this way. Yup. Go on straight up and take over your space over here. Perfect. Perfect. Go on, go on, go on. Don't get caught right there. Yep, right there. Stop. Good. Perfect. This right here? Perfect. Lock that bitch down. We out of here. Rookie car holler. <laughs> when you got to make shit fit, man, you got to make it fit. If you can't make it fit, you might have to quit. Look at that. Look how, look how close that is. Come on, man. You got to make it fit. Got to make it stretch, stretch. Stretch limo on them, man. Stretch limo. Remember, man. Stretch hot. Remember. You set of fucking tires, man. Fucking just put a fucking fuck. Brand new set. Up here in the fucking snow.
truck number two, driver number two, nigga, we out here, boy. Hey, rookie Kyle Holler got robbed. He got robbed on the north side of Chicago. Please, sir, tell us how that happened. Yeah, um, I don't know how you know. How could I explain it? I ain't listen. Um, I took a hill, you know. It's real. It's okay? real. It's real as ever out here. It's real. Straight up. It's okay, real. You just gotta learn, you know, listen, learn. I ain't listen. I went to some motherfuckers to drop off. My very first drop off ever. How many and, cars um, you have on this thing? Five. Yeah, five on here? Drop off ever in my life, buddy Scott. Ever in his life. How much you lose? How much you lose? Thousand. Oh, you lost a G. <laughs> that nigga out of G. He ain't even start making money yet. Y'all hear that shit? He ain't start making money yet. That's all right. We finna get to it though. I got us right. We finna, we finna line. They ain't finna get away with that. Y'all already know. We moving silence. They finna get away with that. Second truck. Second truck. We out here with the wheel. We out here with the real. I'm gonna explain to you in depth what happened, but you heard it. We out here, man. You see the, you see the second truck down there, finna warm up. We finna drop that joint off. Go pick up two joints, three more joints, ready for Monday. You know how I rock. I'm, I'm rolling with him. Just, we rolling now. We out here rocking. So stay tuned, man. It's finna crack, man. I'm gonna give you this in depth. All right, let me give you the skinny on what happened to my man. Of course, you know he's bringing the load back with the trail he went down there to get from North Carolina. Um, brought five back, and you notice on the end it was that big white van. It was a high top. Um, he was coming in the Summit, Illinois, like the northwest side, I guess, and it was a low bridge. He didn't scrape the bridge. Let all the air out the tires out the trailer and the truck of the van and you know the police came everybody came made sure there wasn't no damage to the vehicle and everything was good and they left no tickets was written everything was 100 no claims um now they had to forklift the car on there mind you my man spent the night out there because he got there too late the co-part left, and most of the co-part vehicles are inoperable, which means they don't run. You either forklift them on, fork, or you winch them on, or you got some other type of way that you do it. You know what I mean? But without those, without that happening, you can't remove it or add it to your trailer without a forklift or a winch. Nah. He, uh, this was his first load, of course. He didn't even have the proper straps. You know, we, at the time, we didn't know what trailer it was or nothing like that. So, you know, that was on both of us. But, um, uh, he made it back safely. Everything was fine. Um, got the truck, got the truck, got the van to them. And, uh, they were trying to play some games. And here's the problem with dealing with Central Dispatch sometimes. I let him book his own loads. I knew that, you know, it could have been some sharks out there on some bullshit. But, you know, you book your first load, go ahead, get your cherry wet, see what's going on. His first load happened to be a load from hell. He was calling me every few minutes, you know what I mean? Like it was a load from hell. So, you know, battery wasn't working on the lift gate. The, the trailer people, when he got down there, they jerked him around for some more money, tried to. Uh, you know, nobody at these shops really do what they supposed to. They Everybody's jerking everybody. So it's like, it's like, damn, man, can't win. But, um, the Russians and the, or the Polacks, whoever he dealt with, um, they always the most shady ones, the most shadiest individuals in this car hauling or transportation industry. So you have to watch out for the people that say COD. A lot of that COD work, that cash work, 
be fraudulent activity that's not really built on strong principles. If they don't ask you to be cert holders, certificate of insurance holders, or additionally assured, I would highly consider you recommend, I recommend that you do not do business with those people without either A, running their business through a credit check system where you can validate their uh, history of paying people and doing business, you know, in the community. Um, other than that, I wouldn't touch them, man, because these type of things going to happen. One of these days, somebody going to get really badly hurt behind it, you know. What would have happened if they had dragged my man in the in the building? But they end up playing them, telling them it was roof on the damage. So, I mean, damage on the roof of the van. So... To avoid conflict, he said, hey, what what could I do to avoid getting a bad rating or a negative rating on my man company? He said, man, you know, give me give me some money, man. So he ended up giving him $400 on top of not getting paid. So that was $600. That was $1,000 right there, gone out of his pocket, gone. The load only paid $2,400, $2,500. So at the end of the day, it was only eighteen hundred left. I mean, at the gas, uh, paying the, the fees and expenses, it was like three hundred bucks left on the table. But all in all, the whole purpose was to go down there and get the trailer and just make a few dollars, make maybe a wash. And we made a few dollars, but at the end of the day, it was probably going to end up being a wash because it was a lot of time taken. There's a lot of gas driven. Not only that happened, his GPS took him 200 miles out the way on the way back. It was just, it was a load from hell from him. But, you know, he learned something from Russian and, you know, kind of not listening to him. You know, it's, it's certain things you want to do and certain things you don't want to do in this car hauling thing. And one thing you definitely don't want to do is rush. And there ain't no way around it. These people have to be thoroughly put under a microscope for, you know, the activity they bring to the table because car hauling is almost like selling drugs. You go to these people, you don't know who these people are, what turf you on, what's going on, you know, what they really up to. For all you know, you could be leading yourself into a trap. You're trying to do the right thing, but the whole time you walking into the mob's chop shop and you get into it, one of them, they blow your shit off. This shit happens, man, Chicago, man. So that's why I'm trying to get the fuck out the way. But I'm building my first hub here. My next hub will be where I'm going. And so on and so on. Video game. I told y'all. All the way to the top. But that's in depth on what happened to my man. And trust me, you understand? He gonna stick to me like flies on shit. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, I've been out here. I've been through it. So it ain't nothing new to me. I'm with it. But man, that's the end of week or um the week's see uh, episode. So stay tuned to next week's episode. We're gonna be running strong and hard next week. All right, man. Take it easy. And everybody, thanks for showing love and shout out to everybody that's new new subscribers and everybody that's on my Instagram. Go check me at Stack of Bill. S that's at Stack of Bill. S T A C K A B I L L. I got you. Gone. One I'm chilling. The other one taking off. Man, boss shit, man. New chapter. I wasn't playing. <laughs> ah. My cousin's birthday. Rest his soul. We out here. Love you! Love you! Love you!
up to Lil' Cuz. R.I.P. Lil' Cuz. Living it up for you, Cuz. Double time, my nigga. I know you showing love to me. You blessing the nigga right now. Keep it coming, Cuz. Keep it coming, Cuz. Always. Yeah.